Wetlands are very sensitive ecosystems and they provide a number of valuable um, ecological services to the landscape. They regulate water movement, they filter pollutants and contaminants from the surrounding land and um, watercourses, as well as providing habitat. We monitor wetlands to get a better understanding of how they're functioning on the landscape and also to potentially identify if there's any significant changes in factors such as soils or hydrology or species composition and structure. We have have 24 regional wetland stations distributed across the jurisdiction. They're generally monitored between mid to late summer. The wetland transects are 50 meters in length and they follow the hydrological gradient. So there's a center post, six center posts separated by 10 meter intervals between the length of them and offset five meters perpendicular to each side are our subplots. And this is one of our subplots right here. We're looking at woody vegetation. So we're capturing information on the types of woody material that are found in here and we're doing stem counts and identifying all the species and taking covers of how much area that given species occupies. Nested within the woody vegetation subplot is our ground vegetation subplot. It's one by one meters in length and we're looking at all the ground floor species, all the herbaceous species that are found within that area. We're going to identify them down to species, take the percent cover that they occupy, Typha angustifolia, Pilea pumilla, Cypress, 2%. Solitary, less than 1%, overhang. Later, when we're done with our data collection, we can analyze it and see, okay, how much of these are species of concern? What's the proportion of native versus non-native species? And all of this works together to tell us if they're healthy or if they're degraded, and potentially if a problem is indicated, allowing us to address those problems at the wetland itself or across the watershed as a whole.